up now. Yeah. Okay. Well, let's we'll just run through it quickly. Uh, make sure that everyone who can hear us today, uh, Commissioner Kemp, present and hearing. <laughs> Thank you, uh, Commissioner Kolars. Yes. Commissioner Dranel. Yes. Commissioner Lipke. I'm oh, sorry, Commissioner Lipke, you just muted yes. yourself. Great, wonderful. Let's now turn to the flag pledge and Sheriff Lang, if you would lead us in the pledge. Pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, indivisible with liberty and justice for all. Sheriff Lang, thank you. I'm going to ask folks to silence their cell phones and to mute their microphones uh, when not speaking. Due to the COVID-19 uh, pandemic and resulting state and federal emergency declarations and guidance about limiting unnecessary person-to-person -person contact, uh, today's meeting, the March 19th, 2021 meeting of the Nicollet County Board and the Drainage Authority meeting will be conducted under Minnesota Statutes 13D.021, meetings by telephone or other electronic means. County Board and Drainage Authority meeting members will be able to participate by telephone or other electronic means, and we also have provided remote access to members of the public uh, to follow this meeting. Anything in addition to add to that? Seeing none. We'll move to approval to the agenda. Uh, I'll ask department heads, do you have any changes to the agenda? Seeing none, commissioners, any changes to the agenda? Seeing none, I uh, invite a motion to approve the agenda. Temple move to approve. Kemp moves to approve. Second. Kolar seconds. Abby, if you would take a roll on the motion to approve the agenda. Kemp? Yes. Kolars? Yes. Lipke? Yes. Drenno? Yes. Morrow? Yes, the motion passes unanimously. We'll move to the consent agenda. I'll ask any commissioners if you would like to remove any of the consent agenda items from the consent agenda. Seeing none, I'll invite a motion to approve the consent agenda as presented. So moved. Camp seconds. Lipke moves. Camp seconds. Abby, if you would take the roll, please. Lipke? Yes. Camp? Yes. Kolars? Yes. Drenno? Yes. Morrow? Yes, the consent agenda is approved. We'll now turn to public appearances. Uh, Dale and Abby, I don't see anyone seeking from the public on the Zoom call, but please correct me if I'm wrong about that. No. I do not and see I anyone don't, either. And I don't, yeah, that's right. I don't see anyone here either to uh, comment. So we'll move from the public comment period uh, to our item of business, Sheriff's Office for Food Service Agreement with Consolidated Correctional Food Service. Sheriff Lang, I'd like to turn it to you if I might. All right. Thank you, uh, Mr. Chair and members of the board. Uh, in front of you today should be a new food service agreement um, with Consolidated Correctional Food Service. Uh, I'll just give you a little background on that. Uh, we've been getting our food service um, with Summit, who contracts and utilizes Blue Earth County's jail's um, kitchen for quite a few years. And uh, last fall, they lost a, a business in town here that they also brought meals over to, and they passed that delivery full cost on to us and raised our rates another $50 a day, which equated to about $18,000 a year. So since then, I've been reaching out to different um, businesses in town to see if there was any interest in providing meals to the jail, including Family Fresh, hy V, Gus Davis, the hospital, and uh, a few other places. Um, and I also requested a quote from Consolidated who happens to run the kitchen out at the Hoffman Center up on the Regional Treatment Center. So what you have in front of you after uh, getting their, their price quotes um, in the uh, proposal that you have there, um, those are the rates that we will be paying for the meals going forward. 
in the agreement um, once we take effect in May will run until June of 2022. And then every year after that uh, automatically renew. Um, by switching these, uh, the service here, um, it's all based on the number of meals that we order per day, which is based on our inmate populations. But based on our current populations, uh, they're indicating they can save us anywhere around $12,000 a year. And we won't have to pay that $18,000 delivery fee either. So I'm asking for you to uh, approve this agreement with Consolidated. They've been with the Hoffman Center for um, a number of years. We've talked to the um, people or the employees up at the Hoffman Center and they're very satisfied with uh, their meals that they get and uh, looking for the approval to switch food providers for the jail to Consolidated. Great, thank you, Sheriff Lang. I'll invite a motion, a second, then discussion. I'll move. Yes. Lip Lipke moves, Kemp seconds. Uh, any discussion or questions on the contract? Here, if I could, I got a couple, one current and one more historical. Uh, Dave, Please, thank, you. thank you for being here today. Uh, is this an annual, Dave? This is an annual contract. I, it will automatically renew every after the first period, um, as long as we're satisfied with the service. And here's some history. So I'm old enough to remember uh, back in the 70s when I was a Cub news reporter that Roy Wiebold's wife and George Whitty's wife used to make meals for the prisoners. Um, I'm taking it that uh, your bride doesn't have an interest in this? Mm. Well, under the current uh, circumstances, no, uh, we went away with that uh, quite a few years ago. Uh, our kitchen is not designed for uh, meals um, that would be served to the inmates. But historically, my wife used to uh, cook at the uh, parochial school in Nicollet for many years, so she would be more than uh, capable of doing it. She's got the experience. Thank you for Correct. that light moment. Thank you, Commissioner Kolars. Other questions or comments from commissioners? Seeing none, uh, Abby, I'd ask you to take the roll on the motion. Lipke? Yes. Kemp? Yes. Drennel? Yes. Kolars? Yes. Morrow? Yes, the motion passes unanimously. Thank you very much, Sheriff Lang, for presenting the contract. Uh, we're at the chair's report part. I'm going to ask first, uh, department heads, if you have any reports, often you've got an action item up, so I don't want to skip you. If there are any department heads who have a report they would like to make. Okay, we're going to move right, uh, move right along to the uh, county attorney. I, I have nothing to report today other than uh, jury trials will be starting um, up again next week. And so um, hopefully we will start to address some of the um, delays that we've experienced as a result of the um, COVID impact on the ability to hold jury trials. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Good, thank you. Uh, we'll turn to commissioner uh, committee reports. Commissioner Kolars. Thank and you, Mr. There. Chair. I'm sorry, uh, February 26th, Highway 14 meeting, March 4th, we had an ATP, that's a transportation subcommittee. Yesterday, a TDS finance committee and today's board, thank you. Thank you, Commissioner Kemp. Uh, let's see, starting on the 24th since our last meeting at a um, MRC executive board meeting, education for success meeting on March 2nd, um, our special board meeting uh, on the 8th, also another MRCI executive board meeting, and uh, then I'm caught up to today's meeting. Thank you. Thank you, Commissioner Kemp. Commissioner Dranel. Um, in order to keep the record to be broken here, I only have one dimension, and that was the One Water, One Plan meeting last Thursday. <laughs> Wonderful. Thank you, Commissioner Dranel. Commissioner Lipke. Highway 14 with Jack and the lower men with Marie and yesterday's special meeting. Mm -hmm. 
and I had a meeting, uh, Heather, you and I had a meeting on the audit and oh. uh, a, a massive meeting last week. And plus yesterday's meeting, of course, as well. Uh, I don't know of meetings or conferences that are coming up, but if any of you have meetings or conferences coming up that we should know about, now is the time. Seeing none, I'll take a motion, invite a motion to approve per diems and expenses. Kolar's moves. Temple seconds. Kolar's moves. Kemp seconds. Motion to approve per diems and expenses. Abby, if you would take the roll, please. Kolar's? Yes. Kemp? Yes. Drenno? Yes. Libke? Yes. Morrow? Yes. The motion passes unanimously. I'll invite a motion to adjourn the board meeting. Kemp will move it. I'll second. Kemp moves. Lipke seconds. Abby, if you would take the roll, please. Lipke? Yes. Kemp? Yes. Drano? Yes. Kolars? Yes. Morrow? Yes, the uh, meeting is adjourned. The motion passes unanimously. I'll now call to order the drainage authority meeting. Uh, ask for a motion to approve the drainage authority agenda. Kemp will move it. John seconds. Kemp moves, Lipke seconds. Motion to approve the agenda. Abby, if you would take the roll, please. Kemp. Terry, yes. can I ask a question? Yes. So the bid recommendation is just what we talked about recently that we're reaffirming that? This, that's not part of the consent agenda. What we'll do is we'll turn to Jackie oh, in a moment okay. on that. Okay, thank you. Kemp? Yes. Lipke? Yes. Kolars? Yes. Drano? Yes. Morrow? Yes. So the agenda is approved. We'll now turn to the consent agenda. The consent agenda has one item. It's the uh, minutes from the February 23rd, 2021 meeting. Kemp is there a motion the to approve? Agenda. Kemp moves. Second. Lipke seconds. Uh, Abby, if you would take a roll on approving the consent agenda. Kemp? Yes. Lipke? Yes. Drenno? Yes. Kolars? Yes. Morrow. Yes, the consent agenda is approved unanimously. We'll now turn to the one agenda item of County Ditch 86A improvement bid recommendation. Uh, Jackie, you're on. Morning, Mr. Chair, members of the board. Um, so today I just have the one item and this is for the rebid of package number two for the 86A improvement project. If you recall, um, the bid package one was for the actual pumping equipment, which was approved back in September and is in progress right now. And then at that time they did um, bid for package number two for the tile portion of the repair or the um, improvement, but that bidder um, rescinded its bid. And um, so then we had to go out and do a rebid. So uh, last week or February 25th, ISG um, did the bid opening and the highest bid, they did receive five bids and the um, lowest bid, I'm sorry, was um, Zelly, Zelly Excavating from Lee Center. Uh, they have had, um, ISG has worked with them and had positive results on them. So um, they have, were not able to be on the call this morning, but we're very straightforward that um, this was a good bid. It was $60,014.50, although the estimate at the time of the FER was $56,741. But um, because of the time probably between the FER and now, prices have gone up a little bit. Um, so ISG is recommending that the board approve low bidder for Delhi Excavating from Lee Center with the amount of $60,014.50 for um, bid package number two for that tile portion of the of the improvement. Great, thank Jackie, you very much. Is there a motion? Can I have a question? I'm for sorry, Jackie? Commissioner Lipke. Uh, what was sure, the original ahead. estimate? Fifty six. Uh, okay. Fifty six thousand seven forty one. Okay, thank you. Is there a motion, motion to, to accept uh, the bid? Can't, can't move to approve or accept the bid. Is there a second? 
I'll second that. Commissioner Drannell seconds. Any further discussion on the tile project on County Ditch 86A? Seeing none, uh, Abby, if you would take the roll, please. Kemp? Yes. Drennel? Yes. Kolars? Yes. Lipke? I abstain because I'm one of the signers, conflict of interest. Morrow? Yes, the, the motion passes and we note uh, Commissioner Lipke's abstention. Let me ask if there's any additional business to come before uh, the drainage authority from any of the department heads or others. Seeing none, uh, I'd invite a motion to adjourn the drainage authority meeting. I'll Kemp move. The motion. Kemp seconds. Lipke moves. Kemp seconds to adjourn the drainage authority meeting. Abby, if you would take the roll, please. Lipke? Yes. Kemp? Yes. Drano? Yes. Kolars? Jack, you're muted. Yes. Morrow? Yes, the motion passes. The drainage authority meeting is adjourned. Thank you all very much. Uh